bad news, guys. The topic we are going to discuss does not have clear answers. What do you think? What do you think? Did you notice that for that phrase, there are so many different ways of pronouncing it. This is the difficulty with reductions in English, where we have words that don't receive emphasis, and so they become weaker and faster. What I can do is show you some very common variations with reductions that you can use in your own speech. When a vowel sound is reduced, it often becomes either a schwa sound, emblem, or a short I sound. Emblem. What you're generally going to see happen is when a word or a group of words is reduced, the pitch is going to go down. What do you want? This is important because if two or three words are all reduced together, then you expect the pitch to keep going down. Here are some words that commonly get reduced. To often becomes t, I want to or even just a. Uh. Pronouns that have the letter H typically have the H removed. Girl. You often just gets reduced to ya. What do you want? When a T is followed by a U sound, it often becomes like ch. Want you to when a D is followed by a Y sound, it often becomes like a J. Could you? Oftentimes, the verb to be just gets removed entirely. You good? Sometimes groups of three or four words become only one or two sounds. What do you think? Contractions are very common, even for long negative forms like shouldn't have, shouldn't have, or couldn't have. Hard consonants like T and D and K and B typically are going to have a held sound. You're not going to hear that T. B. It isn't what you think it is. And you're going to see even more of that with our next topic here.